Yeah, my name is Gina Page. I'm the president and co-founder of AfricanAncestry.com. Okay. Uh, so we're here to talk about, you know, Obama's out in January. And, um, yeah, like eight years. What are your thoughts on Obama's eight years? I mean, what comes to mind? <laughs> well, what comes to mind when you ask me about Obama's eight years um, is wonder, actually. Yeah, I think it's amazing that he won the election twice and that we were able to have the experience of seeing a black man um, run the United States. So I, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Hmm. Looking back, uh, what could have Obama done better while in office? Is there anything in mind? I don't know that I have much criticism or, or constructive feedback about what President Obama could have done better. I think that when he took office, he was immediately hamstrung. And so I think that he did the best that he could do uh, within the, the con uh, within the context of his position, given the political climate that he had to operate in. Um, he made some strides that, despite the forces that were against him that didn't want him to succeed at anything he did. Um, I don't know. I don't know what he could have done differently and maintained his character and his sense of um, how things should be done. I feel like he led the country according to his fundamental beliefs, and that's how he carried himself. And unfortunately, uh, he met with resistance every step of the way. So. I can say specifically, though, I am disappointed that he invited that um, white police officer and Skip Gates to the White House for um, a beer. I think he could have done that differently. I don't. I think it sends through one lens. It sends the wrong message that you can, as a police officer, you can engage in the behavior um, that stereotypically driven racist behavior and still end up meeting the president of the United States. And so. From that perspective, I wish he hadn't hadn't done that. One of the things I would have liked to see Obama do, though, towards the end of his term, was really uh, I want to say man up, for lack of a better term. <laughs> but you know, like he didn't have anything else to lose. In year six, year seven, year eight, it's like okay, just go for it. You know, don't worry about how you're going to be perceived. Don't worry about keeping the peace. Don't worry about the status quo. But, you know, speak up and, and, and speak honestly about what we're seeing happening in the black community and what we're seeing, uh, the behavior that we're seeing millions of Americans exhibit. I would have liked to see him just throw caution to the wind, but, you know, he is president still, so. I will miss the representation of blackness in the White House. So all the events that they did with, be it celebrating um, black sports icons, historical icons, or the Tuskegee Airmen, or black ballerinas, or, um, you know, little kids from Southeast in the White House. Those are those are the things that I think I'll miss the most. I, I don't see those happening in the rest of my lifetime. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll miss. If I had the opportunity to uh, speak to the first family on their way out of the White House, I would thank them for the sacrifice. Um, that's really what they've done for eight years. Is is almost the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, living in the White House completely, it's almost like living in a prison, um, you know, not having the freedoms that they once enjoyed and for those girls to have to grow up under the mic microscope 
of um, presidential living is a huge sacrifice uh, that will impact them forever. And so I would thank them for that because they didn't have to do that. And there's so many people who sacrificed so that they could do that. And so I appreciate that they also sacrificed um, to be there.